Hi, my name is Grant Jones. Ever since 700 BCE, people have been comp competing in sports and athletics to try and better themselves and push themselves to strive towards what they can be and what they want to become. On top of this, they've had people watching them and overviewing their aspects and their sports for their own personal interests and benefits. But on top of trying to be a better athlete and push themselves to the furthest they could possibly become, they also use this as an escape to get away from their personal hardships and their personal battles that have been going on throughout their lives. This leads into, to what extent do contact sports in the United States benefit the mental health of the athletes who play them, or adolescents who play them? Adolescents who play contact sports have a better mental health standing than those who do not. With this being said, playing sports reduces the symptoms of depression, gives the athletes something to strive to do better in, and it also allows the adolescents to relieve stress and hardships currently going on. Playing their sports reduces the symptoms of depression. Now, in this quote from Harvard, it states that pills aren't the only solution. This is talking about antidepressants or something to boost your mood. And research shows that exercise is also an effective treatment. For some people, it works just as well, or if not better than antidepressants. So in this chart by Dr. Ramel, it is displaying the past year's COVID-19 event that happened and people who have played sports in the fall and people who do not play sports in the fall. So over here on the left, minimal to no depression, 57.7% of people who played a fall sport fell under this category. Whereas 31.3% of people who had minimal to no depression did not play a sport. As you can see the correlation here, the number is a lot higher for people who played a sport as compared to people who did not. And then you can see the chart here as it goes down the numbers from mild, moderate, moderately severe, and then all the way down to severe. Now, for people who did play a fall sport, only 1.6% of those people had severe depression. Whereas the people who did not, this number was drastically higher with almost 5% of these people having severe depression. It also gives athletes a purpose and something to strive to do better. So it helps to make them feel like they belong. In this picture here, this is a team in Pennsylvania that won their first championship in 31 years. And everybody here feels included in this win. Not only the person who scored the final goal, but the whole entire team as they helped to win this victory and make this high school have a championship under their belt. It also forces these athletes and these players to do good in school because you cannot play sports if you don't have a 2.0 GPA. So that gives them goals and something to strive towards to do better in. So they may want to try to do better at catching, maybe catching the ball, passing the ball, or even shooting, or they want to try and do better in school and have a better chance of getting accepted into a college because you can't get accepted into a college just based off of your physical attributes and how good you are at sport. <coughs> this also drives into, allows adolescents to relieve stress and hardship. So in this quote from Jameson Monroe, who was a doctor and psychiatrist, he did a study where they rated the mental health on students on a scale of one, poor, and five, excellent. The researchers found that the youth who were involved in school sports had better scores on all three mental health assessments compared to those who did not play sports at all. And on this chart here, on the right, from the American Psychological Association, it says it shows teens at the top in the orange, and then adults at the bottom. Now this is only for exercise, but inside of every sport you are exercising. And 53% of the teenagers felt good about themselves after they had exercised, whereas 40% felt like they had been in a better mood and they were boosted from this, and 32% had stress relief from them after they had finished exercise. Now this leads into what others may argue, or contact sports may cause more problems than they solve. Now, yes, playing a contact sport does run the risk of brain injury. As you can see in this image here, this person is getting blown up, per se, and knocked over, and their feet are in the air. That is a very bad hit, and they could very well have received brain trauma or a possible concussion from that. And it also can lead to the increased stress among adolescents. Now, yes, playing sports does reduce stress, but it also can increase it. Say you have something going wrong in your life, and you also didn't do good um, that day in whatever sport you play. 
That's another argument that people make against this. Now, some solutions to having people who don't play sports or who are in the arts, you may want to encourage adolescents who may be struggling mentally to try sports or exercise and physical activity to help ease their symptoms as people who aren't in sports have a harder way to cope with their struggles going on in life. And to counteract the argument of people are receiving concussions and personal injuries, you can try and build safer helmets and protective gear for the athletes who play contact sports. And some limitations would be people who don't play sports may not see interest and would rather do other activities, such as the arts, and playing sports can result in brain damage and concussions, which would tarnish their mental health and well-being. And lastly, playing sports adds another layer of stress. Here are some references. Thank you. Do you have any questions? I do have two questions for you. First question, how, uh, how valid and reliable were the sources that you used, and then how do you know they were? So I got all of my sources from either a psychological association or professional doctors, and that other source that I got where they did a study was from Harvard Law. So all of my sources came from reputable people and was all reputable information. All right, and the next question. Um, if you had more time, what additional research would you have conducted on this issue? I would have tried to dig deeper into some charts and further information that I could have added to this topic. 